Hello, I'm going to do a pick a card reading for you, or pick a pile reading for you guys. I'm going to shuffle it in front of you um, just so you can kind of tune into that energy. So, you know, as I shuffle, just um, you can skip ahead if you want, but just do whatever you do to, to figure out which pile resonates with you. Just kind of tune into the energy of each pile and, um, you know, go with your intuition. All right, so we're going to start out with pile one. These are just messages from your ex, like what your ex wants you to know, what they're thinking about, you know, regarding you, regarding the connection. Okay, so that's pile one. All right, now we're doing pile two. And again, just, you know, use your intuition, tune into the energy. If you have a pendulum, you could use your pendulum to figure out which, which pile is right for you. Oh, this is pile two. I'm going to go with seven cards. I'm going to go with eight cards for that one, actually. Okay, and now we've got pile three. Okay, this is strange, but I'm being led to to associate different animals with the cards to help you choose. So this one's butterfly, um, butterflies, ladybugs. This one is cat um, and wolves. <laughs> and this one is uh, hummingbirds and pretty much all different types of birds. So for some of you, maybe that will resonate. Maybe there's like a certain animal that's coming into your head right now or a certain animal you're associating with right now. Um, maybe that will help a couple of you, not everybody, but maybe a few of you that will help you make a decision. All right. Okay. Can I get three clarifier cards here too? So, for the first group, if this is the one that you chose, we have, I'm afraid that you are jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else. So this is somebody who kind of knows that, um, this would be an ex that kind of knows that they did you wrong. Um, someone that's kind of, you know, wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Maybe they're a little bit like worried that you're going to move on because they, they know that, you know, they can't keep you on lockdown forever. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful, and it's inspiring me to open up to you. So this could be somebody, too, who's kind of taken you for granted in the past, and now they're trying to get it together because they don't want to lose you. It's like they're realizing that you're different, and they're realizing they're going to have to take this chance and come through. Otherwise, you're going to end up with somebody else. Like, they're finally... I think in the past they didn't realize it completely, but I think now they're starting to realize what a catch you are. You know, they're really starting to think about it. Um, and they're starting to kind of have that fear, you know, that if they, even if they're not ready, they're wanting to come forward anyway because they know that if they take too much longer, you're not even going to give them the time of day when they come back. Um, I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. So, yeah, still a lot of fear there. I communicate with you through songs and through movies. So I think that this, for this this first group, this is somebody that you probably haven't talked to in a, in a while. Um, or the messages are very short if you guys are talking at all. I sense for most of you, though, I think you're probably not talking. Because um, this is somebody who has to come through, like, songs and movies. Like, you ever watch a movie and it's like the characters just have messages for you? Well, those those are channeled messages. Those are spirits coming through those characters, as crazy as it sounds. You know, same thing happens on the radio. It's like you just have one of those songs that just comes through and you like you know it's a message for you. Um, it's, it's that kind of energy where it's like there's a lot of telepathic communication going on in this connection. Um, and I think that they're aware of your energy too. You're, they're kind of aware that they're going to lose you sooner or later if they don't 
get it together. Um, I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity alone, but I can't. I need answers. So this could be like a twin flame or soulmate connection because I do sense a lot of psychic energy for this connection. So I think that this is, um, you know, like a kind of connection where maybe, um, God, what is that energy? It's like they needed answers on something. And I mean, you know what your story is. So maybe that resonates with a specific message for you. But like, I kind of feel like it's this clarity has to do with like this psychic connection or just the nature of your connection. Like they didn't, the intensity or the depth or the psychic communication or whatever it, be, it might be, it's like they just don't fully understand it. They want some clarity on that. You're my best friend. And I've never felt this way before. So yeah, very strong bond here. Um, somebody who kind of distanced themselves. Somebody who kind of probably doesn't feel like they're completely good enough for you uh, is what I feel from this energy. But uh, I don't feel like a negative energy from them. I just feel like a little bit of a... Just fear, like just some fear of commitment from them, which is, I mean, it's, it's negative, but it's not, I don't, I don't sense this person is like a horrible person. I just kind of sense that they're a little bit lost and they, they need to find their way and they need to figure their life out. Um, but, but yeah, they are becoming aware that they're losing you is what I feel. I think that maybe you've pulled back or maybe, you know, maybe you used to always message them first and now you're not messaging them first anymore or you're not asking mutual friends about them or something of that sort. And so now they're kind of worrying a little bit, like they're kind of realizing, hey, this might really be the end. Like I, they, they have this, they're starting to really have this awareness that they, um, you know, that they need to come forward. And, but don't, don't message them. This is somebody who needs to come to you. This is somebody who needs to chase and appreciate you because they took you for granted in the past is definitely what I feel. So you don't want to message them first. Spying, yeah, somebody who's spying on you, maybe um, kind of aware that you're doing well financially, financially career-wise, that you're kind of doing well without them. And they're kind of aware, I think they're spying maybe on your social media. I think they're sort of just aware that, um, you know, they don't have you on lockdown anymore, that you're focusing on your, your finances, your career, your you know, entrepreneurship or whatever it might be, you're, you're not focused on them anymore. And now that that energy is starting to, it's like this cat mouse game. And now that energy is drawing them towards you. So keep up what you're doing and see how seductive this energy is. And this could be male or female. It's whatever your story is. But like, look at her, like she's, she's seductive. She's in her power. She's not chasing anybody. She's just, look at her. She's, you know, willpower, strength, confidence, just stand, like see how neutral this person is. They're not chasing. They're not. They're right in the present moment. They're not living in the past or the or the future. It's like you're trying to get centered in the present moment. You know, like look how powerful these two cards are. And this is what your person is watching now. They're seeing how powerful and how wonderful you are and how much they've taken you for granted. And they're starting to have a lot of regrets about that. Um, and it's like yeah, like just look how seductive she is. Like look how just strong and confident and beautiful and you know, seductive this he or she is, this person is, it's like, they're just, they're not chasing anyone anymore. You know what I mean? Um, and so that energy, like you focusing all this energy and self love that you've been focusing on lately, like, you know, focusing on yourself and focusing on doing the things you want to do. It's drawing this person back to you. They're like, Oh crap, maybe I really did lose my soulmate. Like, I better see what's going on. Otherwise, I might not have this chance again. Like, I think you kind of threw them off guard almost where they thought they were always going to have you on lockdown. They thought that you were always going to be there, that you were always going to message first, that you were always going to love them. And now they're really shocked that you're focusing on yourself instead of focusing on them. So now the tables have turned and they're the ones spying on you when you spied on them in the past I think but now now you're not bothering with it and they're spying on you and you're just you're you're getting into this very powerful energy here so stay in this energy don't go to them if this is your if this is your story don't go to this person because they took you for granted they need to come to you it's their turn to step up grow a pair and come talk to you if they want you you know, it's kind of good that they're afraid, you know? I don't feel bad for them. Like, they took you for granted. It's good they're afraid. Let's get a couple more clarifier cards. 
I can't handle being apart from you any longer and I've, I've been spying on you. I observe and notice every little thing about you and I read your social media posts. Yep. All right. So again, you know, that's my advice for this group is is stay stay in this energy. Stay in this this powerful, seductive, just confident energy. Just just making the world your oyster. Stay. Get in this energy and stay in this energy no matter what. And you're going to keep drawing love to you if you do that. All right. Let me see how far am I at. Man, man. All right. So group two. Group two. Sorry. Okay. So if you chose card pile two. I look at your pictures often. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I want to ask you out, but I'm afraid that you'll say no. That would be awkward. So I sense sadness from this. This like I felt sad immediately when I picked these cards up. So I don't know if you're sad over this person or they're sad over you. Um, but there is definitely some pain here. I think like looking at your pictures often, it's kind of like they're like longing for you, you know, it's like they're, they're missing you. They're thinking about you, you know, they're trying to figure out how they can come forward. If they still have a chance with you, they don't know. They just want some clarity. They don't know for sure how you feel. Um, and you know, their feelings they are kind of hiding their feelings a little bit here. And they looked for love in all the wrong places. This would be true of like a karmic relationship too. If they if they went off with the karmic, they're regretting that now. Um, yeah, then we got, I want to ask you out, but I'm afraid you'll say no. That would be awkward. Yeah, see, they're really, it's interesting how similar that energy is. You know, wanting to ask you out. And then we also have, I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening because I don't know how you feel. You know, I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. So this is somebody who could could be like a secret admirer type as well. Like somebody who's, you know, shy, maybe thinks that you're out of their league, thinks they're not good enough for you. Um, I'm afraid you'll never forgive me. So for some of you, this isn't... For some of you, I think this is a secret admirer. Like it could be like a neighbor or a coworker or somebody around you that's kind of watching you. And they just notice your beauty and they're just enchanted by you. And... Um, you know, they want to ask you out, but maybe you have mutual friends or maybe you have to see each other in public or see each other somewhere. And so they know that there would be like this like awkwardness if you were to say no. Um, and so they're like kind of shy and sweet and insecure and they just think you're out of their league. For others, I feel like maybe this is somebody that you do have a, a stronger connection with than that. And they're just afraid that you're not going to forgive them for whatever they did. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. I'm trying to get my life together so that I can come back to you with a stable love offer. Hmm. So I think they're trying to build up the confidence too because I sent somebody who's very, um, whatever the reason is, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure if this is just like a coworker or somebody that you know that, you know, it'd be awkward if they asked you out and you said no. Or again, it could be somebody who, you know, hurt you in the past. Whatever the situation is, um, they're really... They're trying to get everything together and they're trying to build up their, their strength and their confidence and they're trying to find like a, a middle ground basically. Like they're trying to find some way to to ask you out. They want to give you this stable love offer. They want to, um, you know, talk to you more. I think that they're, I just sense like a nervousness and awkwardness from them right now. Like they just don't know what to say. They don't know how to act around you. We have trapped, blocked, tied up, new love, faded encounter, and then we have stagnation and complacency. Okay, so oddly enough, I sense two different stories here, which is, is I mean, I guess there's four different stories and all together. There's one, one story here, one story here, and then two stories here. It actually makes sense because I pulled more cards here, so I guess it, make, it makes sense that there'd be more energy in this in this set right here. But for some of you, I feel like this is like a new love, like a new love interest or somebody that you just met. Um, and they're just kind of stagnant and complacent. Like they're just kind of enthralled by you. Like they're amazed by you and they just, they don't know what to say or do. They're kind of just stuck. Um, 
is kind of the energy I get. They're kind of just trapped. Or maybe, you know, you've got someone in the past or whatever that you haven't let go of, and so they don't know if they have the okay to come forward. For others of you, I just feel like this is like an ex who's just... I mean, it almost makes me feel like it's like a new person because I'm like, why, if they know you, why are they so like awkward and scared around you? Like, or maybe they did something that's making them, like, you know what your story is, but it's like, there's just like this awkward, like nervousness. It's like they, that I'm channeling. It's like, they want to talk to you, but they're, it's just, they're so weird about it. I don't know what's, do they have, does this person have like communication issues or something? Or, like, they're just not good at talking to people. I don't know. They're just, there's such an awkward energy from this person. But, um, yeah, it could be an ex. It, it could be an, an ex who's just kind of, you know, blocked, tied up, and they want to talk to you. Let me get some more clarity. Can you make a couple more clarifier cards here? Three more clarifier. Four. Four. Okay, four more clarifier cards. I want to cuddle with you. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. So it could be like a loner type too, where they've kind of just, they're very independent. And so it's like, they don't know how to talk to people anymore. Like they've forgotten how to be social. And um, there's no one like you. I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with somebody else. And I've grown up and I'm ready for commitment. All right. So it's pretty good cards. So yeah, it's somebody who's, it's like they're watching you and they want to talk to you, but I'm like, God, they're so nervous. They're so like, insecure or shy or timid about something and it's like they're waiting for this <laughs> like they just keep they, they're going in circles they're like they're overthinking it and they're driving themselves crazy because it's like they want to ask you out they're scared you're going to say no that you're going to say no um it could be somebody like maybe you didn't get to know them that well like maybe you sort of knew them and then they were with somebody else or like they went off with somebody else and you guys didn't have the chance to get to know each other that much. And so it's like now they're wanting to come back, but they feel stupid because they were with the other person first, if that makes sense. It's like they just want a clear opening, though, because they don't know how you feel. They want some certainty. And that's what makes it difficult because it's like, what are you supposed to do? Like post I'm single all over social media. Like, what are you going to do? You know, <laughs> um, if you know who this is, maybe flirt with them a little bit. Not over, Don't overdo it, but, like, maybe flirt with them a little bit. Maybe it's somebody who's ending a karmic connection and they want to know if they still have a chance with you because maybe they rejected you before and they're regretting that now. It could be It could be this story. I don't know. It's a weird energy. It's a weird... This, this, you know what your story is. Like, you'll know if it... He'll probably resonate with you if that's your story, but I... I just try to give them some clarity, but, like, in a passive way, I guess. Like, you know, post... How would you do that? Oh, they're just so awkward. <laughs> they're just... Oh, they're such an awkward person. I don't even know. Ugh. Yeah, they're just waiting for that opening, and then I think they're going to come forward. So however you can give them that opening, I don't know. You know what your story is. So for group three, I'm damaged and I don't know how to open my heart again. I'm afraid you've moved on by now. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb and I'm running on auto autopilot. So I think this is somebody who kind of like, you guys have kind of grown apart, but it's like they haven't, it wasn't intentional. It's like they just got busy and stressed with everything going on in their life. And they just kind of isolated and maybe, I don't think it was just you. I think they probably stopped reaching out to a lot of their friends maybe got kind of depressed, um, could be drinking. It's like, they're just busy. It's like, they're just kind of empty. You know, they're, they're running on autopilot. They're just kind of numb. Um, and I think, so I think that maybe that, you know, it's like you guys just kind of grew apart, but it's like, they didn't mean for that to happen. It just, it just happened because of their life circumstances. You know what I mean? Like they feel like they can't offer you love right now. Um, cause they have so much going on in their life. Um, and it's like they get so distressed, so stressed out and distracted. Then they're like, oh, crap, I haven't talked to this person in, you know, a week, two weeks, however long. They're like, they know that they should message you. 
I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. So they could be working towards goals with you as well. Like maybe they're trying to be a better person for you. Maybe that's part of it. They might not be financially stable right now. Maybe they're trying to get financially stable so that they actually feel worthy of you. Um, I regret what I said to you. Hmm. Could be somebody who got stressed and said something they didn't mean. Or somebody who was like, you know, like, I can't do this right now. I have too much going on. Or I got a lot on my plate. And they're just kind of regretting whatever they said. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my soft side. See, look at this. Where was that other card? I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. So you bring out the masculine energy and the feminine energy in this person, whether it's male or female, you bring out like the best in them, you know, like you, they want to protect you. They want to be there for you. They want to be vulnerable and open with you. It's like, you really, they're just, they're vulnerable with you. You know, they, they just, you know them, you understand them, you see them for who they really are in a way that most people don't. I think this is probably someone who's kind of a loner, maybe doesn't connect with most people, but they really feel safe with you. Um, I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Hmm. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Adventure, honeymoon, and vacation. Pause, reflection, rest. So I think it's saying that they need, that the key in this connection is that they, you guys need an adventure, a honeymoon, vacation, some kind of good, fun energy together. Because I feel like your person, I feel like they have love for you. Like, I feel like they, they really love you. I think that they're just, there's something in their life right now that's stressing them out. So that could be work. It could be a job. It could be a loss of a job even. Maybe they're trying to find work right now. Um, you know, it could be just, it's something stressing them. Something is really stressing them out. And it's making them kind of cold and guarded and distrusting and detached from the people that they love. Because they're just so in their head about whatever this thing is. Um, and so they're just kind of numb. And so they're like not opening up to anybody right now. I feel like they're just kind of distant. And, um, I think you're taking it personally because you're like, why do I always have to message you first? Or why are you too, always too busy for me? Like, why are you being like this? You know, it's like, you feel confused because you're like, you know, you, you feel that energy that we were just talking about where it's like, you bring out their masculine and feminine side. Like you bring out the best in them. You know, like they want to do right by you. They want to be good for you. Like you feel that energy. You feel that they love you. You feel that they, you know, want to be there for you when they want to be more supp supportive. So you don't understand why, you know, that energy is not matching up with the way they're acting right now. And it's just all this stress that they have going on that keeps distracting them from you. And um, it's really not personal. It's not you. It's just what they've got going on in their life. And I think the key here to get them out of this energy is that they need an adventure. They need life to be fun again. They need to do something fun with you. They need, they can't handle anything serious, right? And not that they can't handle serious commitment, but like they can't handle like stress right now. Like they can't handle serious talks right now. They, they, you know, their life has just been work, 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 or it's just been stress, whatever it is. Like they need fun. They need, you know, rest. They need rest, healing pause just you know stopping to smell the roses enjoying the little things in life again um you know going on adventures I think that they've just become kind of stagnant and just lonely and bored with life and it just seems like the same old same old routine and you know the key to this to this connection I feel is just you know honeymoon energy adventure vacation just doing fun things together getting that spark back um you know, getting them to kind of enjoy life again and stop taking everything so, so seriously. So you really want to embody this kind of fun, light energy when you're around them too. Um, cause anything else is just going to overwhelm them and just make them break. Uh, and you know, so, so try to get in this energy and that's, that's the key there for this connection, I feel. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. I also do paid private readings. Um, I'm also having a raffle too. So if you donate a dollar, you get a 